Family, welcome back to Country Catering. It's your favorite chef, Chef Red. I'm back again with another video. And today for dinner, we're going to do some meatloaf. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I ain't used to doing a lot of talking. Let's just go and get to it. So you're going to need half an onion. This is a little less than half. This is about a quarter, so I'm going to get another piece. And half a bell pepper. You don't have to use that if you don't want to. So let's go ahead and get the onion buzzed down. Now, this recipe will be gluten free for those of you that don't eat bread. And um, for whatever reason, I'm gonna show you a substitute you can do so you don't have to put bread in it. Or if you're just trying to be a little healthy, you don't want to use bread, I got you covered. They're part of the reason why I don't do my prep work on the, on the video because sometimes these, this hood will be trying to give me the business. Right now, I'm saving all of this because, like I said in another video, once I get enough of it saved up, I'm going to show y'all how to make onion powder using the peel. All right, so first we're gonna go in the side right here. All right. Rank it back a little bit so y'all can see what I'm doing. All Make sure you be very careful. There ain't no race. Just take your time. Don't try to cut fast like me because I've been I've been doing this a good little minute, so. Just making them a little more smaller, that's all. All right, let me get my bench scraper and we're gonna move Move them onions over to the side. As long as I can find it. Here we go. Bench scraper. All right. Do you have for this pepper? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna use the whole pepper. Hold on. All right, family, meat-wise is what I'm using, ground turkey. You can use ground beef, ground chicken, if you want to. Um, now, if I had a hat on, what I would have did, this is two pounds of uh, ground turkey. If I had some, I would have put a pound of breakfast off it. A little, I can't even talk. I would have put a, a, a pound of breakfast sausage in here, too. But since I didn't have none... We're just going to use what, what we got. Let me wash my hands. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put all our veggies in there. Alright, we're going to put in Two tablespoons of wash your sister sauce. Wash your sister sauce right here. Don't go two tablespoons of this. We're gonna beat two eggs and put them in there. Now seasoning. I'm gonna use a, um, a teaspoon of Montreal steak seasoning. Yep, I know it's not steak, but it's good in there. 
you whatever seasonings you got, like I always say. Teaspoon of that. We use a teaspoon of caramelized onion butter. Teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. Then we're going to add in a teaspoon of that poultry seasoning too. Got to have some of that in there. This is the poultry season I'm talking about. That Lowry's. And now, remember I was telling y'all that for those of you that gluten free or just not eating bread or whatever the case may be, um, I told you I got a substitute for you. And your substitute is oatmeal, rolled oats. We're going to use three fourth cups. And then we're going to add in three four cups of milk. Don't, the milk don't matter, whatever ticket you fancy. They do three four cups one four, two four, three four. All right, now we're going to get in there with, with, with our fork and mix everything together. It's the fork right here. Want to get it mixed together good, but you don't want to over mix, okay? All right, let's get this formed up. If you got a loaf pan, you ain't gotta <laughs> you ain't gotta worry about all this. But since I don't have one, but hey, we're gonna make it work. I'm I'm, I'm kind of glad I don't have one, so you can see how to do this yourself without one. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna go outside and we're gonna put this on the smoker. You can do it on your smoker, your grill, or you can put it in the oven. Come on, let go. All right, family, we got that off up in there just like that. So we're going to let that cook probably about 30 to 45 minutes. We're going to come put the probes in it and see where we at. I'll bring you back. All right, family, while we waiting on, we about ready. 
with our own um, smoked meatloaf. So what we're gonna show you how to make a glaze now. So I got ketchup. Let's say about a half a cup. Okay. We're gonna add in some brown sugar. I would say I'm not measuring. So for those who trying to follow on need measurement, let's say uh, uh, about two tablespoons. Or you taste it. Taste it, you make it to your liking. Then we're gonna add in. I'm gonna add in a, a teaspoon of mustard, just plain old yellow, yellow mustard, aka French's. And then we're gonna hit it with a little bit of a uh, little bit of honey. We're gonna just stir that up. I put probably a quarter cup of honey in there. We're gonna stir that up and give it a taste. Let's see it did to my liking. Yeah, what is it all about? What make your taste bud get to dancing? I'm happy with that. And if you're scared to do that, you can take, I'm going to tell you where you can cheat. And you can take a half a cup of um, ketchup and a half a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce, mix that together. Or you can just put your favorite barbecue sauce on there. I mean, you can do whatever you want. If you don't want nothing on there, don't put nothing on it. All right, y'all, let's get it glazed up. We probably got another 15 or 20 minutes for it done to, since this is turkey, you know, portrait is supposed to be chicken and turkey. Your internal temperature is supposed to be 165 degrees. So we had 156. So we probably got another 15, 20 minute go. They want to glaze this up. And then we're going to take this and put it back out there on the smoke and let it. So this will tack up. There ain't nothing special to it. You just dump it. Let it do what it do. All righty. We're going to put this on back out there. And when it's done, I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all. Through the miracle time, we done. I'm tacked up. See, we at 194 degrees, so we 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 made sure that 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 portrait is done. So let me cut a little sample. Let me fit their plate, and I bring you back. All right, family, let's go ahead and get this a little sample, so I can fit their plate. Close their video out. There you go, smoked meatloaf. Let's see what we're working with. <laughs> hey y'all <laughs> got to be more careful hey so y'all won't think I'm lying I got my baby and my two nieces standing behind me with their mouth covered smiling can't wait to eat y'all grab a piece and t tell them if it hitting on anything don't lie They back here dancing, y'all. Mm. You heard that, didn't you? Mm. Mm. 
Okay, family. Y'all heard it firsthand. Get that recipe a try. From the sounds of it, you won't be disappointed. Come on. Like, share, subscribe, comment, click that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I drop a new video. And uh, hey, y'all, I'm out.